I'm Dennis Bragg in the Mission Valley where it's a celebration of the tribes of the past, present and future of the Bison Range. <laughs> With ceremony and commitment to a dream that's taken more than a century to fulfill, elders and the young gather to celebrate the restoration of the bison range, the 19,000 acre refuge that's finally been placed back into tribal hands. The amount of interchange between our people and Buffalo just can't be, it can't be overstated. It was really so connected. There are so many people behind the scenes that lead to events like this, and CSKT is a leader because of it. While there are sobering chapters to this story, today the excitement was about the future of the culture and the learning. I'd like to teach our tribal members how to tan these bison hides, and so I think everyone should have a bison hide. While there's a sense of accomplishment here today, there's also a remembrance of things yet to be done. Elders like Stephen Small Salmon recall seeing Big Medicine, the white buffalo, and believe he should be returned as well. I saw him, you know, and I, I didn't think you'd ever leave here and I asked around they said he's in hell now and that kind of made me mad today for 20 years I've been asking for them to bring it back here I'd say hey we need the white buffalo back here it's just very very vital the the, the cultural resources on the landscape and the in the bison range here um, we got access to it now and, and that's what's really really wonderful to have <laughs> all us other tribes are together you know togetherness. And that's what I talk about people that live here, you know. We should live together. We should help each other. Not not talk bad about us, you know, or other people, you know. You think there's some lessons for people to learn today? I think so too, because, you know, today, look at all the people that come here. Uh, they come around to see uh, what we're going to say about but uh, the buffalo, you know. And in those stories, a path from the past into the future. In Moise, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.